So if you saw the last video, I got all of the dimensions. Oh, well, this is pretty hard to do with gloves on. I got all the dimensions and the serial number off the jointer and I sent them to, oh, I don't even know the name of the company. They sell the Shelix cutter head. It's not the Shelix company itself. I sent that to them and he sent me an email back that gave me, well, it was kind of nonsensical, but from what it says on here, this would have to be this one right here, the F, 5 8 inch diameter shaft, correct. Um, it's a bit less than 11 inches in length, which is correct. And the cutting diameter, 3.112 two identical bearings. That part, I really don't know. I would have to actually take this off to see that because this mount covers them on the outside and I can't really get the diameter in there. So what I would have to do is just pull this cutter head. And in order to do that, I'm gonna have to lower this table as well, get the belt off, and I believe it's just two bolts, but I think on some of these, you had to actually take the cast iron part off the base to get those bolts out. I'm not sure if I have to do that or not, but we'll find out pretty quick. Okay, so we'll give this a try real quick. Get my hammer. Give this a try real quick. We'll see if this gets the cutter head off or if I have to lift this whole big chunk of iron off of here. There we go. All right, it's just gonna come right off. Let's get that other one and we'll have to lower this table like I said and I believe I have to loosen these locks up right here and loosen this up, but no big deal. All right, on this side, the belt is tensioned by loosening or tightening this plate right here. It's a spring-loaded nut right on the right-hand side here. So let me see if this wrench is going to work on that. Yes, it does work. So this is a 9 16 wrench. Just loosen this up. And that should release the tension on the belt enough to get the belt off. And then the nut is right here. Okay, I thought this was loosening up for a while, and then I realized that this is just a nut that goes right through this brace right here. So you got to get a wrench on the bottom as well. And it was incredibly tight. When it finally broke loose, it made a, a loud dink sound. So it, that's probably because it's just been sitting for a while. I'm going to loosen this up a little bit more and then pull this belt off. There we go. Now I can just lift up on this mount and take the belt off. Okay, we'll just let that hang right there. Now, go loosen those nuts and lower this table, and we should be able to pull the cutter head down. 
Okay, those are 12 millimeters. Okay, loosen that up and we should be able to drop this table down. Hopefully it's not rusted. Okay, it's just very stiff and could be due to rust and it could be due to it just being very cold out here. Well, it's not that cold, but pretty cold. All right, let me get this table down and then we'll move on to that, that last nut on the other side and pull this thing out. All right. Yeah, this is incredibly stiff. It'd be nice if this had a bigger handle on it. The older Model 60s had a bigger handle on there and it was a lot easier to work with. At one point, these machines used to be like a darker green color, then they went to like a metallic green, and then to this puke yellow color. I don't know when they did that, but I used to work on a, a much older, maybe 50s machine, and that was really sweet. It had a lot better controls on it, but it is what it is. I think it should come out right where it's at. It's almost at the same height as the other one. Let's give it a try. Not quite. It's really hard to get at this. There it goes. Okay, it's loose. And there we have it. Okay, let's get a measurement on this. Okay. Sounds like somebody's driving a snowmobile out there. This caliper is almost too small. All right, I have about three and eight, three point one. And this is 3.112. That is the one it is. Version F. All right, let's get this ordered. Yeah, on second thought, I don't think I needed to loosen these gib screws at all because I didn't loosen the, the set screw on the inside and this thing still came down enough to get the cutter head out. Yeah, you really do need to get these tables all the way down to get the cutter head out, but it's not that hard. I think this was just really stiff because it's cold out and it might have a little bit of rust in the ways there, but it's out and I'm going to get that ordered. And like I said, this is a version F and that is 
5 8 inch shaft diameter overall length including shafts of 11.345 and a cutting diameter of 3.112 and it says it has two identical bearings yeah I still can't really check those out without taking the bearing off but I don't see how this could be any other one I'm going to try to get a dimension on those bearings but I'll do that off camera So, I figured that once I got this cutter head off, I would be able to get at it so I could measure the bearings, but I couldn't. Um, you can't really see through this side, and these are about like that. So, you really can't see in there, and you can't get the calipers in there. So, I pulled these off, and to do that, I just took this and wiggled them off, they came off fairly easy and in the end these bearings are identical and that's all they're asking for these are 1.6 inches and like I said they only want to know if they're identical or not and I could get a much better dimension from there to the end of the shaft and yes it is 11.345 so I have everything I need. It is version F, so I'm gonna go place my order. I think it's the 11th of December. I'll post that on the video. I'm gonna order it tonight, and they say that it can take two months or even longer to get your cutter heads, and I'm gonna be ordering cutter heads, or a cutter head for the jointer and the planer, so Hopefully that doesn't make it take longer. Hopefully they'll send whatever one's done, send it first so I can start getting one of these put back together. So that's gonna be it for the jointer for now. The next video on this will be me cleaning this up. Then I'll have some videos on me cleaning and tearing the planer down. And there's gonna be a ton of videos on Planet Mojo of me doing the insulation and all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe and come back to see that.